creating Carnival is about bringing on new artists who are at the beginning of their career but haven't had the opportunity to do something on this scale and put their ideas at the forefront. I've done a few small organisational things for my own personal work but I've never done it on a larger scale but it's nice that the Global Grooves team are still around just at an arm's length so I'm not totally on my own but I am as well. Last time we met up was like a month ago so now we've had a bit of time apart, a time to think about our theme which is the Tempest. It's Shakespeare's 400th year anniversary of his death and we're going to see how we're all feeling about where we are. We kind of come ac across these uh, sticking points, uh, where as I say, something like, oh, I want to do this with the music, but then somehow it doesn't quite fit with the dance, or, or Bridget will say, oh, I really want to do this and have the dancers alongside the boat, and then, say, then they're saying, oh, but we were going to have people doing sails by the side of the boat, and it's like, ah, oh, all these things. <laughs> I've never had this experience before where I've worked one-to-one -one with a musician, so I am having an immense learning experience already. We've had a few separations in our marriage there, but it's working really, really well. Something's gelling already. So Emily's the other lead artist. I have worked for Emily before as a volunteer, so it's quite strange now we're both on the same level. But it's really good because I've never done anything on this scale before. We're talking costumes for like 100 people. I'm glad to have her here, yeah. <laughs> Today is a, a mass camp workshop and um, we are all together making different elements of the actual visual element of the parade. So this is a little illustration that I did of what envisage the parade to be like. This was my initial sketch of it. Just decided that the figurehead isn't as important as the mass themselves. It's more important to have these massive masks. These are the ocean wings that we're creating. So there's going to be 20 of those and um, they're all going to be dyed blue. Would anyone like to wear the horns? Dan, you look very fetching in the movie today. You feel, you know, cool. I feel, well, I'm not sure. I wouldn't say cool. cool. <laughs> the front section will have Jab Molassi, which is a devil tradition in Trinidad and Tobago and is representing slavery, therefore perfect for representing Caliban. We are reinterpreting Shakespeare through those traditions uh, and taking it to a different audience. So the volunteer situation, it's been up and down, but then this weekend has been a lot more positive, we've had a lot more people come in. Some of the volunteers have come via Future Leaders, which was a leadership programme developed by Global Groups. Yeah, everything's just flowing nice. Just getting one job done at a time instead of trying to do everything at once. The good leaders. If you just arrived, they have a list of things which you need doing and something for everyone of all abilities, like whether you've sewn before or you've not. I'm doing dance, I think since I am doing the carnival, I thought I might as well contribute to the creation of it. This weekend we've had our two masterclass rehearsals at Halle St Peter's and Halle St Michael's, which are two rehearsal spaces that are owned and used by the Halle Orchestra. First day, very exciting, very nerve-wracking, people of different abilities. I felt the day had progressed as I'd planned it. Because yesterday went so well, I was a bit concerned that was that the high and it was all going to possibly go a bit pear-shaped today. I'm really happy. A lot of work goes into it and I think it's really nice for the participants to see that. There was a moment before where I was apologising for my quirkiness in my thought and the support that came from the dancers was unbelievable because I think they now appreciate how much goes into it. It feels like it's coming together more today. Yesterday I was a little bit confused and information overloaded, but today it feels like, oh actually I did learn something yesterday, so that's good. Initially my incentive was to come for fun and to be involved in it. I hadn't actually realised how big the carnival is that we're going to perform in, so that's also triggered some anxiety. So in some ways it's more about me doing something that I've previously been a bit uncomfortable with that I think will do me good. So yesterday, um, the dancing and the music came together for the first time. 
and and actually it was really stunning. It, it made them able to sort of feel the music more because they could see like visually how they were meant to be feeling on the inside. It gives it so much more meaning because the music has to exist with the dance and the dance has to exist with the music. We have a regular group that meets every Monday um, for drumming classes basically, but we've not actually ever been involved in a carnival. So this, when this opportunity came up, we thought it was something really interesting for some of our members to have a go at. Oh, she's really patient, really, really patient, because obviously there's just so many different disciplines within the group, and she's really able to focus in and to help each group individually, which is great. And it's really good to see actually how much actually goes into making an event like this happen, which perhaps if you just see it on the street, you don't actually realise how much is involved. I feel like we're ready, yeah. I feel like today's gone really, really well. Just seeing everybody work together and really focus at the end. It's really, really lovely to see. Uh, Basilica was amazing, it was fantastic. Just seeing everybody's talents come to fruition like, ah, oh, there's the dancing, there's the costumes, ah, oh, here's the music, and it's all sounding and looking great. It was like sunset in Liverpool, and like just the sun shining through the ship was a really magical moment. I had the pleasure of getting to see a lot of the jabs, um, which was pretty fantastic. Yeah, it was great, actually, all of us together, feeding off each other's energies and going to the street and causing havoc. Last minute, I ended up being part of the sea. There was a couple of costumes left over, and from seeing everybody get ready, I just thought, I really, really want to do it. So it was really good fun. So today we're at the Z Art Centre in Hume. We are having a final rehearsal before another performance at the Jazz Festival tomorrow. So the purpose of this rehearsal is to rejig the performance from a parade to a static performance. Bridget is, of course, the lead choreographer. However, she had a lot on her plate. So with the jab section, Adriana took that role on as she has been to Trinidad and she's seen it in the flesh. And so to take the heat off Bridget, she's stepped in to help out. What I'm really loving is that Helen has taken a side step with the ocean music and she's letting me call the breaks, which is new for her and new for me not being a musician. And it's organic, so to speak, and we'll work. <laughs> Better. That just was amazing. I'm so blown away by everyone's, by everything. It was, I had a fantastic time. <laughs> um, I think Bridget and the Yancer dancers were incredible, really, really incredible. Um, they really took control of the crowd, and I think, and the music was amazing. Oh, it was all amazing. <laughs> yeah, I can't pick one. Whenever you sort of turn around, sort of keep your eye on the audience, and the audience are kind of, you can see them sort of moving a bit, you know, foot, feet tapping and stuff like that, then you kind of know it's going well. <laughs> the, the whole thing, it all came together. Uh, even the weenie, weenie errors were complimentary to it rather than an issue. Yeah, I'm I can't fault anything actually, it was, I just want to do it again. It was amazing. I graduated from uni like a year ago this week and if you told me a year ago that I would be doing my first carnival, my first freelance job, um, I would never have believed it. So it's been a pretty amazing year.